dear colleague, uh, in my presentation I'm going to show a social role of uh, prestige copper objects in the middle copper age societies north of Carpathians on a, an example of the cemetery in Książnica in southeast of Poland. Around uh, 4,500 BC, the process of formation of the social stratification in the early Copper Age cultures in Balkans, Peninsula and Carpathian Basin began. One of the visible aspects of this process was custom of setting up of the cemeteries outside of settlements. So, sorry, could you speak a little bit louder? Okay. Uh, the second was practice of burial differentiation depending on sex of the dead. And last was the appearance of the prestige copper and gold artifacts in funerary practice, for example, in Varna and Hamadja culture and Tisapolgar culture. Between 4300 to 4200 BC, under Transcarpathian influence of late Langel and early Bodro Karesu culture, the process of social stratification and formation of the local elites in southwest of Poland in Jordanov culture and in the middle of Poland in Brzeszkojawski group began. Circa about uh, 4100 to 4000 BC, under influences of late Bodro Karestur and Hunyadi Halon cultures from the Tisa River Valley, uh, Valley, the same process began in southeast of Poland, in environment of the late Danubian units called the Lubin Volinian culture and Wyciąże Złotniki group. And the Lubin Volinian culture developed mainly in the less regions of south. Eastern Poland and Western Ukraine in the period since circa about 4100 until 3600 BC. The Wyciąże Złotniki group developed in a small region in the upper part of Vistula River, in, in both sides of Vistula River, in the same period. This figure shows the location of cemeteries and single graves of the above cultural unit under discussion with special regard to the cemeteries where prestige copper objects were found, red and yellow points. <clears throat> we can clearly observe two zones where the burials with copper objects occurred. The first on the left bank of the Vistula River and the second one covering the northern part of the Lubin upland and the western Volinian upland. In the light of uh, the radiocarbon dating obtained in the recent years, the rich in copper cemeteries in the western zone, for example, Złota and Książnice, seem to be slightly older than those in the eastern zone. And now I show you uh, archaeological data from one of the cemeteries from Książnice site 2. <coughs> Książnice, uh, site 2 in Książnice lies on the summit of less covered hill, excavation carried out by me in 2001 to 2017 have uncovered the biggest cemetery of Lublin Volinian culture. On the cemetery, 22 copper artifacts were discovered in seven burials, which constitutes the greatest number of uh, copper prestige artifacts in uh, southeast of Poland. Uh, now I will present a men and female burials containing prestige copper artifacts. Grave number three is a symbolic partial burial with shaft hole copper eggs of Syria type and with relics of human hand. We found in, the, in this grave only a few fingers. Grave number, um, grave number four belonged to the 50 years old male. Skeleton which was lying in a flexed position on the right side, with the skull directed toward the south, discovered in a rectangular burial pit. Copper chisel was found slightly above the skull. In this burial, we found also three vessels and numerous set of chocolate flint microlites, uh, which we interpreted as arrowheads. Grave number five belonged uh, to the 55, 60 years old male. Skeleton which was lying in a flexed position on the right side with the skull directed toward, uh, toward the south, discovered also in a rectangular burial pit. The grave goods comprised 
three pottery vessels, copper uh, hatchet of the Sakalhat type, and 16 flint objects, including retouched flint blade dagger, which was lying in the position of the chest between left arm and the ribs. And this is the position of copper hatchet. In grave number 17, poorly preserved skeleton in a flexed position on the right side belonged to the specimen in the age of adultus, most pro probably a male, was discovered. The burial goods consisted of three clay vessels, five flint artifacts, including a massive chocolate flint retouched blade, also dagger, as well as an earring made of copper wire discovered at uh, chest height. In this point. Uh, grave number two belonged to the uh, nine to 11 years old child, probably, uh, probably female, because we have uh, DNA data from this grave. Grave goods consist of uh, three clay vessels, four flint artifacts, and three copper objects. On the, copper, uh, on the base of the skull, a massive wire necklaces, a necklace was found. Under the skull, there lay a massive wire earring. A unique bracelet decorated with dimples and made of copper plate was found on the right ulna. A very rich collection of gifts consists of four clay vessels and five copper objects were excavated also in grave number seven. It belonged to the nine, ten years old child. Uh, uh, female. We also have a DNA data for this uh, burial. Under a skull laid a massive wire earring. Additionally, at the level of thorax, a cylindrical bead from a rolled sheet of copper was found. Another such bead was found in a nearby water pipe excavation, which partly destroyed the grave, while the uh, wire bracelet and a small ring uh, were discovered approximately 30 centimeters to east of grave bead. Grave, grave number eight is probably one of the richest female burial in all younger Danubian cultures in the territory of Poland. A skeleton of, of a 35 years old female lying in a flexible position on the left side with the skull directed toward the soul. It was discovered in a partly destroyed rectangular burial pit. The unusually uh, rich uh, grave goods consisted of uh, 10 ornaments made of copper wire. Two necklaces with, with spectacle-shaped pendants, two bracelets, two earrings, and two rings. A chocolate flint, uh, a chocolate flint retouched blade, and a blade, as well as uh, fragments of two clay uh, vessels. And this is close-up of the situation of necklaces. <coughs> and copper jewelry from this burial after conservation process. Mm. Uh, now have a quick look at the chronology of graves containing copper artifacts. The Bayesian analysis, uh, analysis of four art, uh, radiocarbon dates shows the period of using of the prestige copper artifacts in Książnice Necropolis most probably between 4030 to 3820. BC by medians. Now I'm going to present the problem of the reconstruction how people of the Copper Age wore their prestige objects. This is very difficult because we don't know much more about dress of these people and second because we have only data from a special kind of context from burials. And this is an attempt of reconstruction of the way of wearing the prestige copper on the base of the richest male burial of the 60 years of old man. In the burial we found flint retouched blade, dagger, in the position of the chest and we reconstruct it as a flint blade mounted in the organic handle, put into organic sheath, attached to the belt, which was worn across the chest. Uh, we found a copper hatchet, which was located next to the skull, we suppose that this hatchet was mounted in the wooden, hand, uh, wooden handle and this man held a hatchet in his right hand. There were also a numerous set of flint tools which were lying next to the right pelvic. We think that there were uh, in a bag 
made of organic material. And the way of dressing uh, in this picture is based on the Otzi reconstruction of dress, of course. And this is attempt of reconstruction of the way of wearing the copper jewelry on the base of the richest female burial of 35 years old woman. In this burial we found 10 artifacts made of copper wire. Two necklaces with a spectacle shaped pendants. First was located under the skull, second on the lever of the belly. Two earrings, bigger and smaller, both of them laid under the skull. Two copper rings, which were found on the lower part of the chest, and two bracelets on the wrists on the left and right hand. However, we have a problem with interpretation of the way of wearing the earrings, which we discovered under the partly destroyed, destroyed skull, and two rings which were found on the lever of the upper part of the chest. We suppose that the bigger of the earring was worn on a textile bandage or other headgear, but smaller open earring was put on her ear. Similarly, we have some doubts with the case of the two rings. If it's an element of the belt or application of the dress, we don't know. And conclusion. Um, cemetery outside Twin Kionznice is a perfect, exa perfect example of the changes taking place in the social structure of the younger Danubian cultures on the turn of 5th and 4th millennium BC. The necropolis consists of two separate burial fields situated several meters apart. The eastern field, a field intended for the local elite, consisted of two parallel rows of graves. The eastern row comprised an adult female burial and two burials of female, female children. The western row included two adult male burials, a putative male burial and a cenotaph. Within this layout, there was a partial burial accompanied by a shut hole copper axe of Shuria type. The western field has more irregular layout and contains eight poorer burials. Grave goods consisted mainly of vessels and flint artifacts. Moreover, in this area we discovered a cremation grave and the second cenotaph. On the base of uh, anthropological analysis and arrangement of skeleton, right or left side, and DNA data, we give the grounds for us assuming that in the, in the graves number 12, 15, and probably 14 men were buried, but in the graves number 10 and 11 women. In between of the both burial fields, there was a male burial number 17, with copper earring and flint dagger, which are considered symbols of the high social status of the dead. One of the most interesting problem, which we can observe uh, in the Książnice, is presence of rich female and female children burials accompanied by a prestige objects. It confirms that it, in the middle copper age in south of Poland, certain women from that environment had attained special social status, pre presumably through an inheritance of other kinds of social rela relationships. Prestige copper weapons and tools show close references to the late Bodro Kerstur culture but copper jewelry is a specific mix of late Langel culture tradition, uh, for example, spectacle shaped pendants. And local tradition uh, with uh, copper wire necklaces with triple culture patterns, uh, for example, with bracelets made of plate uh, of copper. Another kind of archeological sources from uh, this uh, cemetery as Potter and presence of cremation burial have a strong connection to the Hunyadi uh, Halonglajnani horizon. Thank you.